DARPA and CERCO have unveiled the USX-1 Defiant, an entirely autonomous surface vessel built with no provision for onboard human crew. The launch and christening occurred Monday, August 11, at Everett Ship Repair in Washington, marking a pivotal milestone in the No Manning Required Ship, No Mars, initiative. Stretching 180 feet and weighing 240 metric tons, Defiant boasts a streamlined hull design that allows faster construction and simplified maintenance at port facilities or smaller shipyards typically servicing yachts and workboats. By eliminating crew accommodations, the vessel maximizes operational efficiency, durability, hydrodynamics, and survivability, capable of sustaining sea state 5 conditions and enduring even rougher seas without performance degradation. Defiant proves that a fully autonomous ship can thrive in the harsh open ocean environment, said NOMARS program manager Greg Avicola. Although compact, she can undertake long-range missions, withstand severe weather, and resume normal operations after storms. The design focuses on essential dimensions for hardware while removing human passageways entirely. Once system testing is complete, Defiant will embark on a prolonged at-sea demonstration to validate its endurance and dependability. DARPA Director Stephen Winchell highlighted the vessel's strategic potential, Defiant-class ships offer cost-effective, autonomous, resilient, and maintainable platforms that enhance naval capabilities, extend manned ship performance, multiply combat effectiveness, and expand U.S. maritime industrial capacity. Anthony Kirby, CEO of Serco Group, added, Defiant represents a milestone in naval architecture, advancing NOMARS and the Navy's vision for autonomous surface vessels. Designing a ship entirely without human crew consideration is a major leap toward fleets capable of operating in high-risk environments without endangering sailors. Following its demonstration phase, the Defiant will be handed over to the U.S. Navy's Unmanned Maritime Systems Program Office, PMS-406, as the first medium-sized, fully autonomous USV. DARPA and the Navy are ensuring the technology can be scaled, transferred rapidly, and integrated with international defense partners. In July, Congress allocated $2.1 billion to support the development and acquisition of purpose-built medium USVs. Defense contracts continue to dominate Serco's portfolio, comprising over 80% of first-half 2025 orders. Notable awards include £1 billion in Royal Navy Maritime Services, a decade-long Armed Forces Recruitment Service deal valued up to £1.5 billion, a $96 million modernization program for U.S. guided missile frigates, and a $247 million contract supporting the Army's holistic health and fitness system.